Hi there, Visionary family, and welcome back to another one with Lady Visionary. Hope you guys are doing amazing. If you're new to my channel, make sure you smash that red subscribe button and become part of this growing family. We're aiming for 5K subscribers, guys. We can make it happen by the end of this month, July. Guys, you have been asking for more content on Mosanzi, so that's exactly what you're going to get. Stay tuned. I speak about how clean Rwanda is and I'm now in Musanze and Musanze is also doing quite well. It's very, very clean as well, guys. Here I'm in Kizungu. I've actually shot a video on my channel previously talking about this beautiful neighborhood, um, it's this up and coming neighborhood. Even though the whole of Musanze developments are happening and I can't wait to take you guys downtown. This is my route. Follow me, guys. I'm just walking, you know, it's a nice neighborhood. It's um, just a relaxing day. The sun is shining and yeah, follow me, guys. Follow me. A lot of people do sports in this neighborhood in the morning, especially you'll see people jogging, doing different forms of exercises out here. You know, and sometimes myself and my husband, we come out here and we just take a stroll and just relax. It's, it's safe. Rwanda is a safe country in general. But yeah, this neighborhood is very, very safe. I don't have any problems here at all. If it wasn't for curfew, which is currently six o'clock, guys, can you imagine? The curfew is six o'clock. But anyway, we know that due to the pandemic and all the measures that need to take place, in order to deal with the COVID cases in Rwanda, that's why these measures are in place. But, you know, if it wasn't for curfew, um, I'm out nine, 10 o'clock and I'm walking the streets and I feel completely safe. Nothing's gonna happen to me at all. So guys, you have been asking to see more videos on Musanze. So that's what exactly what I'm going to give you. More videos of Musanze, guys. Tell me in the comment section if you're planning to come to Musanze. Are you planning to come and visit? Because Musanze is actually the hub of tourism. So, you know, yeah, there's lots happening in Kigali. But come and see Musanze. You can see the mountain gorillas, the Musanze caves. You can come and see the Twin Lakes. Guys, there's something I want to talk to you about, you know, because I'm seeing so much going on on YouTube so much drama some people are preaching about what you know what changes should be made in Africa instead of actually coming here and seeing it for yourselves like a lot of people are talking things that they don't know to be honest Africa is such Africa is a big continent of what 54 countries you cannot generalize every country is different different culture different people although we look the same we are we are one obviously but there's so many differences to embrace and learning about africa or learning about a particular country you really have to be here to really feel it a lot of information a bit has been passed out there and it's untrue come and see it for yourself don't just follow everything you see on the internet we can all make a contribution. Africa needs you, your skills, your knowledge, you know, your brilliance. Yes, us black people, we are brilliant. Despite what others say, despite how others have tried to bring us down, despite the fact that we have to protest in the West and in the Americas to say that our lives matter, no longer should we have to do that. We should own it. We know that our lives matter, black lives matter around the world, whether it be here on the continent, whether it be in Europe, whether it be in the West, our lives matter. We don't have to prove that to them. All we need to do, guys, is come home. Come home and make a contribution to this beautiful motherland. Come home and show Mother Africa what you have. You know, we need you. Definitely we need you. Some of you guys don't even know Africa you've never visited the continent you know you've played with the idea of visiting come and see it for yourself come and visit me here in Rwanda this is Musanzi guys I'm not in Kigali people think that only Kigali is developed look we have roads look we have a lady right there who is cleaning the streets Rwanda takes cleansiness seriously 
it, Rwanda is a no-nonsense country, guys. So when you come, you do have to be on your best behavior. They want to see that you're bringing something tangible to the country. They want to see that you're, you, you have something that you can offer the country. We all have something we can offer. It's just about our mindsets and believing in ourselves and in our ability. I'm here, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm Lady Visionary. I've relocated from the UK to Rwanda. You know, I'm starting small, but I'm aiming big, right? So, all you have to do is believe in yourself, like I am here believing in myself. I know there will be a lot of negativity out there, a lot of people who will question what I do, but hey, I'll do, I'm just out here doing me, and we'll see how the journey goes. But guys, look at these beautiful streets. We, the palm trees, I, I'm in love with palm trees and I can't wait till these ones grow up like the ones we see like in Kigali when you're around, driving around Kigali. But also equally, Musanzi is up and coming. Don't underestimate Musanzi. Don't underestimate Rwanda. Do not underestimate Africa because we have so much potential. And you know, for so many years, Africa has been portrayed in a very negative light but they're all here doing business they're all here stealing from mother africa they're all here making money from mother africa and it's funny you guys always complain about the chinese the chinese in africa and how they're taking over come on you the diaspora whether you're um, a rwandan uh, abroad whether you are a, um, a diasporan in america in europe wherever you may be Come home, come and make a contribution. Stop complaining about the Chinese. We need more options. The Chinese are here, they see, they see um, opportunities and they're grabbing it. So why should we? Why should we continue to complain from wherever we are? But we're not bringing services to our people. We're not bringing options to our people. We're not building businesses for our people. Guys, wherever you're watching, make sure you smash on that like button and make sure you subscribe if you're new. So many of you guys keep coming back and watching this amazing channel, but not yet subscribed. Guys, you're loving the content, content that you see here. You're loving the content that you see. So make sure you like and subscribe and don't forget to share. I'm showing you guys around Mosanze. This is what you've asked for. You know, some people don't believe this is Musanzi. Some people don't believe this is Rwanda. Some people don't even believe that there is life in Africa. Are you crazy? You need to come out of that box that you're in. Be open-minded, explore, learn something new, discover, because this great continent is beautiful. There's so much to explore. Right? There's so much to do here. Business-wise, there's so much to do here. You just have to bring your ideas, as I said. Believe in yourself. You know, strategize. Be patient. There will be things that frustrate you here. It's a different type of, type of culture, but you have to be patient. You may find that some things may be slow, you know, but think about how you can bring solutions come identify a problem and think about what you could possibly bring to make the continent better because i'm telling you guys africa needs you and i'm talking yes you you watching this africa needs you some of you guys have asked if there are supermarkets in musanze and i'm here at rukara supermarket guys come in and let's explore together. So this is a supermarket in Mosanzi. They have like a variety of items, biscuits, peanuts, as you guys can see, um, different chocolate bars, different treats, juices. Here they also sell meat. Um, you have your different spices for those of you who are concerned about, you know, the different spice you may need. It's all here, guys. It's all here. Um, spaghetti for those of you guys who love your spaghetti and various different types of pastas, butters, 
oil up there, rice, um, coffee, tea, honey, juices. What else have they got? Different types of soaps, um, different cleaning agents. What else do they have? Yeah, again, various seasonings. For those of you guys who are thinking you don't want the standard oil and you want um, olive oil, olive oil is here. They even have Nutella for all of you Nutella fans out there who love to have pancakes and Nutella spread. They have everything in here, guys. Let's go around. They also have a variety of alcohol for the alcohol drinkers out there. <laughs> Different selections of wine, red wine, white wine. Um, what else do they have? Just different selections of alcohol to choose from. Right, and look, those of you guys who are wondering if they have your different treats, those of you guys who love Snickers and Mars bars, different treats are here. Um, for your babies, you have different, a variety of milks. Um, cereals are here, Weetabits, for those of you guys who are familiar with Weetabits. Yeah guys, so there is a variety of options here. And yes, there are supermarkets in Musanze. You have seen Musanze. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Until next time guys, see you soon.